Hi, Penny here from the Patchwork Angel on the beautiful Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. We have a lot of people who get really scared of curved piecing. We have a lovely quilt, which I'll show you a photograph of shortly, that is called Blackbird Pie by Kookaburra Cottage. And it's made up of an eight and a half inch Duncan's Path block. And lots of people admire the quilt in the shop and then say, I couldn't do curved piecing. So I just thought I'll give you a quick little rundown on how we do it. So you have your pieces which you've cut out with your Drunkard's Path templates which are available on our website. What I like to do is I like to just find the halfway point and just give it a little crease. Okay. With your other piece, same thing. Halfway point, give it a little crease. Now this is a perfect thing. Get all your blocks cut, go and put a movie on the telly and sit down and do all your pinning. So you take your two creases and you join them together. There. Of pinning. Now you know now that that's your, your halfway point. So this has to fit here and this has to fit here. So we're going to pin up here next. And the same at the other end. It's warm here on the Sunshine Coast today, even though it's winter time. Okay. Then I'm going to pop some more pins in between. So I'll just ease that there. See how that's going to fit in there? Same here. So two pins between, so a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins over the whole block. That's how I like to do it. All right, so we're ready to stitch. Now because these are all on the bias, they have got that little bit of stretch in them if you want them to. So you can ease things in, just like you would with a sleeve on a garment. I'll be back in a second. I've just realised I've got to change the foot on my machine over to my quarter inch foot. So I'll be back in a sec with the right foot on my machine to show you stitching it. Yeah? No, it's still... Why am I not... Okay, back again. I've got the right foot on my machine. I've got my quarter inch foot on. I've told the machine I've got the right foot on. All that sort of stuff. Slow down my machine to a slower speed because you really don't want to go too fast with this. So take your time and just gently stitch it through. Now you'll notice I've kept the pins back from the edge because that way, and you can see there I've got a little gather, but I'm just going to ease that through. If I keep the pins back from the edge, I don't have to pull them out like that when I get to them. Making sure that everything's lined up nicely and easing it through. And because it's designed for a quarter inch and the templates are designed for an add-on of a quarter inch, everything goes nice and smooth and nice and easy and it fits in really nicely. And you just finish stitching, taking your pin out as you get to it, never sew over a pin. James, our machine mechanic, would have a turn if he knew that you ever sewed over a pin. Okay, here we go. Now see I've got a little pleat there, I can just ease that a little bit, that's it, fix that. And last little bit, and we want to try and keep this nice and smooth. And there we go. Cut the thread. And there is your paste block the drunkard's path with the curved edge. Give it a nice little press and it'll tell you which way the seam wants to go. So isn't that easy? And look, it creates a really nice effect with the drunkard's path block. So templates are available on our website, eight and a half inch drunkard's path template, pattern blackbird pie available on our website. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the little bell for the notifications and the thumbs up is really good. And that way you can keep up with everything we're doing on YouTube. Have fun. Have a look at www.patchworkangel.com.au for lots of other lovely, lovely things.